All right, that was five of our burritos placed into our little potluck tin. Now that I have that all set up, I'm bringing in a medium mixing bowl. In that mixing bowl, I have some shredded chicken right into our beautiful bowl. I'm coming in next with our real crumbled bacon. You can also feel free to do a turkey breast or you can even do like a mushroom cap or a tofu if you didn't wanna do the chicken or the bacon. I'm coming in with one of my favorite cheeses to use, a Monterey Jack. And you can kind of feel free to play around with the cheeses. Dogs are very excited. They love cheese, so I apologize. And then of course, in addition to our Monterey Jack, we have our delicious mild cheddar. You could also do a sharp cheddar or a Valveeta. I know, honey, delicious, huh? But that mild cheddar will get the job done. I'm coming in next. I have some leftover green onions from a dinner earlier this week. So I'm gonna throw a couple of those right into my mixture of chicken, bacon, Monterey Jack, and mild cheddar. This is gonna be a super fun and easy little lunch, meal prep, dinner, great for potlucks, great for Easter, great to share with friends and family. I love, love, love green onion. You could totally feel free to do like a chive instead, but that green onion is gonna give us that nice freshness and it's gonna tie right into our Hidden Valley Ranch. I am a ranch girly. I also enjoy an occasional blue cheese. I know that's a little controversial as well, but we're gonna go in with about half that bottle of our ranch dressing right into our mixing bowl, just like so. Ooh, yummy. I'm coming in with our spatula and we're gonna give that a nice, beautiful, healthy stir. Making sure all of our ranch is incorporated and covering all of our shredded bacon, shredded chicken, our bacon bits, our cheese, our green onions. And that ranch is gonna act as our seasoning for this little mixture as well. All right, as you can see, that ranch is starting to kind of form and get really incorporated into our ingredients. So that's exactly how we want it. I wanna make sure there's not too big of chunks of that chicken. So that is looking beautiful if you ask me. Now that we have this all prepared, I'm gonna bring back in my little tortilla tin. All right, I'm just gonna try and create a little well with our burrito size tortillas. That works best. I'm gonna come back in with our chicken bacon ranch and cheese mixture right into our tortillas, just like so. Ooh, if you could smell this right now, the ranch smells so delicious. And I don't know a better combination than chicken, bacon, and ranch, if you ask me. And those green onions just add a freshness and a little bit of texture. And I'm just gonna start by gently kind of pressing that mixture into our burrito well. Ooh, it's like a perfect fit. All right, now that we have that all pressed in, so here comes the fun part. I'm gonna start by taking our tortillas and just gently pressing them over our chicken bacon ranch mixture here. And you kind of get creative with this part because I know that tortillas aren't square, so we can, <laughs> we can just kind of fold them so that they cover that mixture just like so. And that will get us exactly what we are looking for. All right, now that we have this all wrapped up like a little baby, I'm gonna come in, and this is totally optional. I'm gonna grab a stick, of just regular butter, and we're gonna pop this into the microwave to get that nice and melted, because we are going to, we wanna make sure that our tortillas are absolutely delicious. So I'm just gonna pop that into the microwave for about 30, 45 seconds. All right, our butter is beautifully melted. I'm going to add a little bit of that ranch seasoning right into my butter mixture. I know we already had ranch in our mixture, but this is just gonna add an additional depth of flavor, a little bit of that zing. Let's see if we can get it out. All right, I'm going right into our butter, just like so, just a touch, maybe about a tablespoon. I don't wanna do too, too much. I'm just going in with my little paintbrush with our melted butter and ranch mixture. And this is optional, but this is kind of gonna be a game changer. I love a good crispy tortilla. So you could just do like the butter, but I just think with the ranch seasoning, it'll just tie into our delicious filling. And just a light brush, nothing crazy. So you don't wanna drench it. 
And it'll also help those tortillas stick together while they're in the oven. Oh, I mean, butter and ranch, you really can't go wrong. All right, we are going to pop this into our oven for about 20, 25 minutes at 350. Our chicken bacon ranch crunch wrap is ready. All right, now that we have this out of the oven, I'm just gonna go in with a pizza cutter. We use like our little pan here. Ooh, that crispy tortilla with that ranch seasoning. You can smell it, it smells so good. I'm just making sure you get through that where you can smell the bacon. It smells so good. That cheese, nice and rich. See if we can just cut off a piece. Ooh, yummy. All right, I think I'm just gonna go right on in. That crunchy tortilla. Ooh, that chicken bacon. Ooh, it's a big boy. You can see all of those delicious cheeses all melted. Ooh, it smells so good. That shredded chicken, our green onion. This is gonna be super, super yummy and really delicious. Enjoy.